Hi, this is Mohamed Ahmed. In this video, we'll discuss gastric peroral endoscopic myotomy or GPOM. That is a procedure to perform pyloromyotomy in patients with gastroparesis. Our patient here has postvagotomy gastroparesis, uh, which is a perfect indication for this type of procedure. This patient presented with nausea, vomiting after she had a surgery uh, for hiatal hernia repair. Um, this patient responded to Potox. And, and then now she was referred for GPOM. GPOM is almost similar to POM. You have to do a mucosal entry and then go in the tunnel till you reach to the uh, pylorus and then we'll cut the muscle. Our mucosal entry is seven centimeter from the pylorus and we we'll try to do it in the posterior wall. And the reason for that, in case perforation happen, it is not a peritoneal perforation, it is retroperitoneal perforation. So unlike um, POM, our position is a little bit harder because we are in the antrum and the scope is curved, so you really have to work hard in making uh, this entry point um, uh, easier uh, to approach. So as you see here, once I made the mucosal incision or entry point, I'm trying to put my scope in through sliding uh, my cap, but it is not working. So I will continue to dissect in the submucosa, and as you see now, the more we dissect, uh, the easier it open. Uh, you have to be careful to dissect the submucosa and do not extend your mucosal incision. One of the most common mistakes I found that people keep extending the mucosal incision without dissecting the submucosa. So the idea here is to make a tunnel and not to continue the mucosal incision. So as much as I can, I'm trying to inject the submucosa and work on dissecting the fibers of the submucosa on the edges, which will prevent my scope from going on. So if you see here, I'm cutting on the right side and the left side, then I push my scope through the cap inside. And once I'm inside, I will dissect some of the submucosa fiber to create this nice tunnel. And gradually the tunnel is opening. So you inject more and you dissect more and you keep doing this process till you're able to advance all the scope within uh, the tunnel without disrupting uh, the mucosal surface. So as we see here, the mucosa is up and the muscle is down and we can come out from our tunnel to make sure we're going in the right direction. And then we will continue going in the tunnel. Occasionally you have to keep looking outside to make sure you are not curving right or left because in this procedure, spiraling can happen. And then instead of going towards the pylorus, you find that you're going uh, to right or left side. As we see here, we're almost dissecting toward the pylorus, and at this situation, if we come out with the scope, you'll find that we are almost getting at the pylorus. You have to be very careful in this area because any wrong dissection, you will go, at, you will make a mucosal uh, injury. So to explain what's going on here, we have the duodenal surface up there, the submucosa is this tiny rim here, and I have to inject the submucosa and make sure I'm only dissecting the submucosa without dissecting the mucosa. Then the other side, as we see now, is a duodenum submucosa, and the moment I inject the water there, you can see this expansion. Similar to when you are doing a poem, and you go beyond the GE junction, it will open up. Again, that's the pyloric sphincter muscle, as you see here, and that's the submucosa. So we know our anatomy very well. We'll come outside. We'll confirm that we're already beyond uh, the pylorus, as we see here. And once we found that, we'll start our uh, pyloromyotomy part. So now we're cutting the muscle of the pylorus. The pylorus muscle is very thick muscle, and you will need to dissect carefully and gradually. So we are dissecting layer after layer, and you have to be careful not to dissect the duodenal mucosa. So as you see here, as much as I can, I'm dissecting the muscle, staying away from the duodenal mucosa, and um, spend as much time as you want, uh, you know, carefully dissect, little bit by little bit. Uh, if you do a big moves here, you may end up with either duodenal perf or large retroperitoneal perf. I will inject some time, as you see here, more so that I separate the mucosa from the muscle layer because in that area we have very small area of submucosa. And then you gradually cut the muscle. Now we completely cut the pylorus muscle. The other side there is the duodenal uh, uh, muscular, muscle layer there. So we carefully uh, got all the pylorus. And now there's maybe a little bit small residual pyloric uh, uh, fibers that we'll cut. 
And after doing two centimeter by my arm, you can see here that it is really wide open. And you can see that uh, we can uh, see our uh, injected methylene blue within the duodenal lumen. Um, now we can take a look again at the tunnel. As you can see, the pylorus is completely cut. That's the duodenal mucosa in front of our scope. And uh, we'll try to close it with few clips. I hope that this video improved your understanding of G-POEM procedure. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.